Hi everyone, my name is Mary and I am a tester for Omaha's Place and I'm here to show you how to make a really cute border for the towels to go along with your wonderful Omaha's designs. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your towel and you're going to rip out the seams at the bottom and up about 9 to 10 inches up the side. If you can see how it, and I stop, don't go all the way up, just about 9 or 10 inches. And then you're going to want to if it's really crooked or anything, you need to straighten this up at the bottom. Don't worry about the sides, but the bottom, you want to keep a really good straight line. And you want to take it to your ironing board and take some starch and press the bottom seam and up, I'd say about five inches, no more. Because you want to keep these folds so you remember what it looks like on the side. Hopefully you can see this right here. And then you also want to take your towel and you want to measure it from one end to the other and say it's a 20 inch towel then you need to add two inches to that for overhang for uh, to trim off later right in here and I've sh I'll show you on this piece here turn it around here so you want to have this is way too much here but you want to overhang so you'll have some place to trim then you're going to um, like I said, if it's a 20 inch towel, you want a 22 inch piece of fabric. If it's a 24 inch towel, you want a 26 inch. It just depends on what towel you have. These are just some really good, good great to embroidery on. It's a linen kind of cotton. And you'll set that aside after you get the measurements. Then you'll take your coordinating fabric, or let's say your main fabric. This is my really pretty fabric that I love, love fall. And, um, you want to take and you want to cut this three and a half inches by the width of your towel plus two inches. So say it's a, like I said, a 20 inch towel. So it'd be three and a half by 22. And um, maybe down in the comments, we can put the measurements like that. And then I take, really the measurements aren't that important. It's up to you how wide you want this, how wide you want the bottom, the top. You can add, just do it with just this piece. You don't have to have um, three different fabrics. I just think it looks really neat to put three on. And I take and I cut two from a coordinating fabric, one and a quarter by the width of the, the same width, like 22 inches. And then I take a second piece, and, and this will be your middle, your top, and your bottom. I'm trying to keep this in the camera. There you go. And you take the top piece, which I've already ironed, which you'll take and fold it in half, right side or wrong sides together, and press a really crisp, you know, start it really good and crisp, long uh, trim. It's like a really decorative trim. You could use a rick rack if you don't want to do this part of it. Okay, you need to take your piece, your main piece here, put the top piece on with where you ironed ironed it, you'll want to put the raw edges to the raw edges of the top piece. And then the bottom piece, you want right sides together. And then you're going to sew a quarter of an inch down both sides. And then when you're done with that, you take it to your ironing board and you press open the bottom seam and you press the top where it's towards the middle. I hope you can see that right there. Then, you have that really good and pressed. Then you want to center it on your towel. This is where it gets a little confusing. You want to put your right side of your towel down on your table. And then you're going to put the right side of your border strip to the wrong side of your towel. Just like this. And you want your overhang on both sides. Let's see if I can get this, keep this in the camera on both sides. And then when you get done with that, you're going to take, you're going to sew a quarter of an inch all the way around, all the way down, like I have here. And then you'll take it to your uh, mat and trim off the edges right here, where it's even with it, the towel completely un, you know, ripped out, all the seam ripped out. You're going to right on the edge of the seam, the towel, I mean. Okay. Then you're going to turn your towel, sorry, turn your towel with the right side facing up. 
you're going to take your border strip and turn it where the wrong side of your border is on the right side of your towel. See how it's already looking really pretty. And you can take it to your ironing board and starch it really good and you want to make it really crisp right here where you can't really see the bottom of the towel when you're looking right at it. And then you're going to take, let me show you on my other towel. You're going to sew, you're going to top stitch. I pin it really good. Top stitch right here and right here and right here. So you can see that the top, the very top piece is kind of open. That's fine like that. I love using variegated thread on this. It makes it really pretty. You could actually use some kind of decorative stitch down through here if you have a more plain fabric. But this one I'd get, it'd get lost in. Okay, after you top stitched all that down, then you're going to take it back to your ironing board. Let's see if I can get this where you can see it. You have your edges where you want to really want to start these, and you can see how that's folded over and then folded over again. We well, take both pieces. And this obviously would be stitched down, so it's a little easier. But you take and fold the first fold, and then the second fold, and then it have have it evenly folded. That's why you didn't want to not. You didn't want to press right through here. You'd lose all your folds and you try to figure out how to trim it back, but turn it back. You're going to take your same decorative thread you used on the front and make sure you have it in the bobbin too. And you want to sew just from this edge down and back stitch front and, you know, the beginning and the end. Then you're going to change your, it's really, really important to change your bobbin and your top stitch to finish you're going to start right here and go straight up with this. In this case, it's cream. Whatever color your towel is is what you want to do. And this is the finished edge right here. Can you see that? And I've, I've finished sewing back up to wherever I stopped ripping. And then I take it back to the iron board and I fold over this way. It depends on what towel you have. And then I fold that way and I press really good as I go and I press. And then you have such a pretty towel. Got to get that Oma design in there. Isn't that cute? Thanks, Monica, for the pumpkins. This is Mary. Hope you have a good day. Thank you.